Hi, my name is Rosita Samsudin, a postdoctoral fellow at the Tokyo College. Uh, today, I'm going to introduce about a team of Tokyo College which is tackling the planetary boundaries uh, through interdisciplinary approaches and the project that I'm working on which is related to this team. Uh, I hold a PhD in architecture from the National University of Singapore. Uh, prior to PhD, I also studied architecture for my bachelor and master degrees. After working for several years in uh, architectural practices, I decided to return to academia and to pursue my research interests. Um, one of the projects I'm working on at the moment is trying to understand the relationship between nature especially nature in cities and social capital. The presence of nature can uh, help to counterbalance the problems arising from urbanization. Uh, at the same time, nature can provide the platform for social interaction between people, which over time can grow into social capital. So, what the project wants to know is first, whether nature in cities can really promote social capital formation. This is increasingly becoming important uh, not only because we, by nature, are social beings who desire for social connection, but also because social capital can promote social well-being, a key element of the complete state of health uh, together with physical and mental health. Second, the project also investigates uh, which aspects or elements of nature that are important in promoting social capital and the mechanism behind this relationship. A key theme of Tokyo College is tackling planetary boundaries through interdisciplinary approaches. The concept of planetary boundary underlines the importance of a safe operating space uh, within the Earth system where humanity can continue developing and thriving for future generations. The Earth system itself is a complex system comprising of ecology, biophysical, technology aspects, and many others. We are facing a future where most of the world population will live in cities, with majority in Asia and African regions. But the way cities urbanize and our actions as an individual or as a group often lead to disturbances to the Earth systems. My research contributes a small fragment of this aspect, but I wish that this research can encourage more research around this topic in the near future. I think we all have a huge pile of homework, including how the findings can be translated into policy and interventions. We need to rethink of approaches, how to bring the nature back into the cities, and at the same time leveraging the benefit of nature in ways that uh, in, in ways that do not bring more harms to the earth systems.